fade is eventually you're just gonna probably walk out of time. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun when you just strive for so much as a competitor to what? That was so well calculated here. This easy stand one to anti air him as he threw the smoke bomb into the air. Oh, these boys are going to be gaming the entire time, but th this is going to be tough for, uh, I would say, G, because Gambler is one of the best defensive players that we have here in the scene. But <laughs> as soon as I say that, as soon as you said it, as soon as you said it. I, bro, I didn't know what to deal with either. Man just threw him while invisible. Nice challenge. One thing you guys need to know at home, never grab me. It's just not worth it. He's always looking for it. Man, the man sucker was in. Check with the knee. Exactly, right there. That's it. That's what's going to work. And that's that's really um, like out of the gate player tendencies. Like, obviously, it's not beyond Big Daddy G to you know slowly adjust during the set and you know start blocking a little bit more but i feel like everybody has that core starting point of how much am i going to do with this with well? and big daddy jesus is very high yeah. <laughs> always looking for the throw. another district pro you cannot see what he is doing please tell me how do you block what you can't see i'll just turn off the playstation 5 for being honest here Wait a second, another knee, more frames. I go for the full swing instead. Wakes up with the shadow kick is amazing. Wait a second, Siren trying to help him out. Then get the full air combo, but the armor right through, put it in his neck and twist it, and that is going to hit. Yo, BDG tied us up in rounds. Yeah, I thought that was a completely a complete wash in that first round for King Gambler. But again, the adjustments are not beyond him. Didn't see the hat. <laughs> didn't see. Didn't see smoke. Saw the hat and said, "I don't know what to do here. Do I just sit here? Do I jump?" And we're seeing the, you know, the the, the cycle of options going through, like we saw it earlier in the in the match of PVG versus Gur, and King Gambler's experiencing that right now. Gets the pop up there from the overhead. Oh my gosh, knees, knees, knees. He's blocking a lot more right yep, now. Yep, he is. And gets Cliff by the poke into the special. It's going to be so much chip damage in the air. And you guess throw, but a 4-3 was coming and said the 9 frame knee being the dizzy. Oh. This game, always going to be a big risk. And BDG lives by that. Definitely. Lives, breathes it. Like, please try to throw me. Oh, wasn't looking for it that time. Instead, was looking to just poke back. Let's poke and get off the uh, fix the Sturdius. It's too much money. Ooh, nice blocks, but you can't block forever. Oh, wait a second. Making a block while he's invisible is insane. Good luck in the overhead. Nice down poke. Checking immediately. Full screen. Tried to down two, but get caught. And guess what? Cyrus with the save with the bomb. Allow. Oh, wow. oh phases right through. He's not going to sweep nothing right there. Big jump. Oh, the Kung yeah. Lao hat just to let go a little too early, probably because of the force cooldown. Oh, big whip punish coming out of big G. Oh my God, look at the damage. Look at the damage, Tenzo. 43% nearly. And on top of that, more pressure, more chip. Gets the trade, but of course, right up close, the trade always going in the favor of Johnny oh, Cage. Uh-oh. The throw. Doesn't have two bars to spend. This is a huge comeback. He has a mount, and that is definitely not going to help him out. A whiff shadow kick in front of that man's face is an easy punish for BDG. Yeah, just wanted to make the connection, keep him you know, a little closer to the corner. Low crushing under that down one. So Gambler are going to be a little bit more hesitant on checking the next time around, most likely. Thank you, thank you. Bring him a little closer. Yes, right on my feet. So it's a nice little delay wake up from Gambler to kind of miss time. Uh, any of the OP setups that Smoke's out going. That was a reaction to the overhead, but you're not reacting to the follow-up where he goes completely invisible. Plus frames, more plus frames, more plus frames into a low. Yeah, the low is a nice little check there. In case you think, okay, he might try to loop the plus frames again. Here's the low. That leads into okay. tons of damage. Connecting. The staggers. Nice pulse. Sarah's locked down. Armors through. I had to press something right there was Gambler. I guess he would have thought they was the one where you turned invisible, not the armor type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly confusing the, the two just slightly. Becomes the Cyrex net, but nobody's biting. Nobody's taking the bait. Nobody's getting hit for a full combo from full screen. It's oh, scary. boy. The 
heads here from uh, Smoke, especially very good. He lunges forward very slightly, but either the stand one or the four one, it can do so much work. But here's Splash. Coming mm -hmm. up is not noticing in match at all. You can just tell them, and it just like a switch right then, right there. You yeah, saw that. It always reminds me of like tennis at a high level, you know, where you know coaches aren't really allowed to say anything during, you know, your, your, while you're playing, obviously. But you know that insight of what you see from the outside can mean a world of difference. Ooh, it's a throw. Oh, gets the armor this time. All right, the low hat is a low. Oh, right, and the stabs the man's kneecaps, left hands, right through the fabric. So it spins the two bars. Gonna get the light lead off this. Also, oh, the max damage right here. Oh no, he feels the hype, didn't he? Oh, no, that's that is so unfortunate. Luckily, BDG does not have fatal blow, so it's not gonna be the kill. But look at the damage. Tons. Oh my god, armor. Tons. So oh, he went into it. it. He was so sure he was gonna let go, or it was gonna cool down all the way and then let go on its own. And he was like kind of trying to follow it to close the gap here. Very unfortunate for King Gambler. Cyrex gonna keep his rising star nice and safe, though. Making the run with the smoke right now causes so much trouble. Virgin, oh, this is it. Slightly. Like, oh, I almost feel like BDG doesn't want to play in that, like, you know, close range. Normally he did like against Gur uh, previously, but against Shawnee Cage, just says I don't really want to be in down one range. I want to be far away. I want to come in for mix, and I want to use my longer range button so I don't have to really contest against your super good saggers. Oh, poking the special. Yeah, you got to keep blocking, my guy. I don't care if you're invisible. That doesn't give him special privileges. Nice flawless block, but man, the impression is on for Gambles. He doesn't want to turn him invisible again because you got to guess for game. The throw. Oh, my God. He blocked the little over directly. Go, Gambles. Low hat coming in here. Gets, Gets the, the anti-air conversion. One in the fade, I'm assuming, but it's not going to kill. But definitely going to put some pressure on King Gambler. King Gambler, I think should get three bars by the time this fatal is over. Yeah, it should be. You get tons. The, the bar gain is, is, is very a very big correlation with the damage you're taking in or outside of fatal blow. Blocks the Cyrex net. Get in. Oh, he's gonna get ah, time. stuffed, baby stuff. The online term is all people know of him. But right back into it, Gambler, you gotta get to your life again. Oh, pressure. Mash it on the plus frames while you're invisible. I think, yeah, that's definitely you. <laughs> oh gosh, you can kind of like go off by like the little block animations there, that yellow that you see on the person's body. So like once he sees that, he's like, okay, it's my turn to my turn to poke back. My turn to challenge back with some staggers. And once again, Gambler making the mistake of trying to grab BDG and is going to pay for it immensely. He gets the back throw and this is smoke right now for Gambler. He's got to try to find his way in. Ooh, a block, easy, no problem at all. A nice big conversion. As soon as a person lands, not able to block right away. And Big Daddy G recognizing the successful up block and saying, here's my time to shine. One round away from taking this 3-1. Can King Gambler fight back, though? Can King Gambler fight back? We shall see, but the smoke is looking so incredible right now for G. He has all the momentum, misses the conversion off that 4-3, but looks from corner to corner. The armor right through, Cyrus can do a thing about it. Gets the fourth throw. Cool out. The hat. Grab it. See you later. That's plus frames and some more plus frames. The double dash to the corner. We're playing Mario Kart now. Hello. <laughs> He's pushing him. He's pushing him a little bit closer to the corner, and King Gambler did not like that one bit fighting back, finding the successful hit, looking for the throw, and like you said, we cycled right back. BDG always looking for the throw, always looking to expose that and just duck right underneath because the reward is so great for this. Oh wait, he didn't do the armor variety, he's just waiting. He's just waiting. Oh, is that just it? Waiting. Is that it? Oh boy. He's, he's gonna get better in time, right? Yes, he should right here afterwards, but he cut it short on purpose, maybe? He's going to Gets the throw, no way. Has two bars to work with. It's not gonna be the kill, not gonna be enough damage. But BDG, he might wake up. Oh wait, he no, has no, 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 maybe. Wake up with armor, so no way. Oh, the only chance there for BDG was to potentially fall as block it. But didn't happen. Now we're going to a round three scenario. 
armored right through to get that really advantageous knockdown and get that great corner positioning here. Team Gambler fighting back with various stand jabs, not completing the staggers. Big jump. Oh, oh boy. no, Hamano, please. Oh boy. Hamano, please. Oh. Wait. Anti-air, that down one. He's like, I didn't even know that was an anti-air attempt, but I will take it. Getting him knocked out of that invisibility. Yeah, I love the stand four and just keeping him in that Cyrax helicopter. Oh. Can you tell me? Oh, his kill clipped on thought he's far enough away. Is the other side? One guess for game, because he can go into Fatal. He did a parry by accident. Cyrex is just there. They're both scared. I'm scared. What are you doing? The cancel. Oh, my God. Wave that's in front. Why are you trying to grab him? Why? Why are you trying to grab the man who he refuses to be grabbed? He dropped it. He dropped it, and this is going to be King Gambler tying up the set two to two. And Big Daddy G just hanging his head in shame. So, so disappointed in himself. He let it go. It was right there. Your top eight was in your hands, and you let it slip through your fingers. Big Daddy G. And going right into it. I don't agree with this decision at all. I don't agree with this decision at all. Just for your own mentality, just, just take a little breather. He had, all he had to do was, I think, I don't know if one point and was Clancy's into Fatal, but like he did not have to go for that complicated combo. No, no, not at all. Fatal blow, very accessible for most of the characters. Definitely accessible there in that scenario in some oh. way. Oh no. This ain't good. Oh no. We told you to take a break. We told you to take a break, Big Daddy G. You went right back into it, right back into this ass whooping from King Gambler oh, as man. he's trying to make this comeback. He's trying to solidify his spot in the top eight, and he is gatekeeping you right now and the Cyrex to cover all those unsafe options even those unsafe input errors coming out of King Gamblers we saw last game the overhead Big Daddy G doesn't convert into anything afterwards does go invisible but getting right knocked out of there oh my goodness I'm gonna take the right out of my mouth this man is getting whooped in the worst fashion you close to take that second never go right back in please Take that breather, you're allowed up to a minute, especially after a heartbreaking loss like that. And you're seeing the effects come under way for BDG. Going corner to corner, gets the armor through. But what, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna oh, do? What are you gonna do? Right Go to the other side. Can you block what you can't see? You can poke what you can't see, that's for damn sure. King Gambler go for the throw, but BDG all over it, gets the throw tech, but still finds himself in the corner, finds himself in a bad spot, gets jumps flipped. into the Cyrex helicopter. That's a miscalculation there. Gets the, the back throw. Scary, scary oh stuff here. Gets the knee, and should Gambler not drop this? This should be it. Gambler shall make top eight with the pop off BDG. I am so sorry, but you should have kept the combo simple. This is why we tell you when back at home, never go for the fancy stuff. If you can secure the kill, take it. And now, BDG, unfortunately.